Hello friends, welcome back to Multi Question World. Today we are going to discuss the syllabus of blood bank technician. In this syllabus, we have to study the whole syllabus of medical laboratory technology. So, the exam preparation with the syllabus is useful not only for blood bank technician, but also it will be useful for all competitive exams of medical laboratory technology as it covers the whole syllabus. The exam to be held on 3rd October 2024. Let's check the syllabus. First module is pathology which carries 5 marks. Basic hematology that is blood anticoagulants, blood cell count, hematopoiesis etc. Videos are already done on the topic. You can check from playlist. Next comes thin and thick smear, staining of blood films, different stains used, demonstration of blood cells, bone marrow smear, sickle cell preparation, LE cell preparation, leukemia, then demonstration of blood parasites. Next, HB, normal and abnormal, estimation methods, then PCV, ESR, blood cell indices, osmotic fragility, coagulation studies, etc. Next important topic is urine analysis, different methods, then faces, sputum, CSF, body fluid, semen analysis. Topic is simple but it is very important. Next, module 3, histotechnology which carries 5 marks. First is introduction that means design, reception, recording etc. Another important topic is fixatives. Ideal fixative has to be studied. Then important fixatives, formalin pigment removal, decalcification. Then microtome, different microtomes, principle, maintenance, microtome knives, honing and stropping. Then preparation of paraffin sections, tissue processing, different steps. Treatment of blocks before cutting, automatic tissue processors, storage of blocks, defects of processing, then staining, mounting, principles of staining, common and special stains, immunohistochemistry, storage of sections. Then frozen sections, freezing microtomes, principles, use and preparation of frozen sections, advantage of frozen sections, cryostat. Then Module 4 Cytology, important applications of cytology, gynec and non-gynecological smears, preparation, fixation, pap staining, shore staining, other stains used, then buccal smears and bar body demonstration. Next FNAC, cytology centrifugation, membrane filters, cell blocks, monolayer preparation. Next module 5 Cytogenetics carries 5 marks, important topics are karyotyping, its methods, chromosome analysis, banding techniques, chromosome defects. Next, module 6, blood banking. This is an important topic as it is a blood bank technician exam. Theoretical aspects of blood grouping, nature of blood cell antigens, antigen antibody concepts, ABO and RS blood group systems, ABO grouping and RS grouping techniques, direct and indirect combs test, compatibility testing. Then donor selection, screening of donors, collection and storage of blood, anticoagulants used in blood transfusion, preservation and storage, preparation of blood components, transfusion reactions, transfusion transmitted diseases, apheresis, plasma pheresis, automation and recent developments in blood bank. Then microbiology which carries 6 marks, history and scope, sterilization and disinfection, different methods and their application then recording and handling of specimens microscopes different microscopes like dark ground phase contrast fluorescent and electron microscopy next module 2 bacteriology which carries six marks morphology of bacteria their growth requirements culture media ph adjustments sterilization and other culture methods then staining Simple staining, differential staining, special staining, their principle, methods and application. Then methods of study of bacteria, scheme of identification, study of medically important bacteria, role of infection, important diseases, lab diagnosis, etc. Then antimicrobial susceptibility testing, different methods, preparation and storage of antimicrobial discs. Then Clinical bacteriology, sample collection, containers used, collection and different collection of different types of specimens, transportation, storage, and use of different transport media. Then 
processing of specimens, microscopy, culture, biochemical identification, serological identification, pathogenicity test, serological test and rapid tests. Then module 3, parasitology, morphology and classification of protozoa, helminths, common and important diseases caused by them, details of morphology, life cycle and lab diagnosis. Then clinical parasitology, collection of specimen, transportation and storage, processing of specimens, blood smear, thin and thick smear, then microfilaria. Then stool examination for parasitic ova and larvae, their identification, concentration methods, staining techniques, serological diagnosis and other rapid testing methods. Then module 4, mycology. Classification of fungi, dimorphic fungi, common contaminant fungi, its morphology, cultural characteristics, identification of fungi, common fungal diseases, then clinical myco mycology, collection of specimens, transportation, processing, culture media and techniques. Then module 5, virology, introduction to virology, structure, classification of DNA virus, RNA virus, their morphology, culture and identification of viruses, medically important viruses. Then clinical virology, collection, transportation and storage of specimens, special care in handling, processing of specimens, fluorescent antibody techniques. Then methods of identification of viruses, viral inclusion bodies like negri bodies, guarnary bodies etc. Serological techniques. Then biochemistry module. Composition of glass, its different varieties, grades of glass wares, cleaning of glass wares, calibration of pipettes, etc. Then module 2, which includes laboratory safety, laboratory hazards and safety, universal safety precautions, first aid in the laboratory. Then module 4, preparation and storage of distilled water, deionized water, pyrogen free distilled water, Evaluation of water purity. Then module 5. Units of measurement. SI units. Known SI units. Preparation of normal, molar and percentage solutions. Dilution of solution. Interconversion. Concentration. Molar and molal solutions. Then collection, preparation, transportation, processing and disposal of biological specimens in a clinical biochemistry, laboratory, Preparation and use of anticoagulants. Then laboratory instruments. Principal use and maintenance of colorimeter, spectrophotometer, fluorimeter, nephlometer, flame photometer, luminometer, centrifuge, etc. Then module 9.1. Radioisotopes. Basic principles of radioactivity. Application of radioactivity. Detection and measurement of radioactivity. Then buffer solution. HH equation. pH indicator. Body buffer system, respiratory and renal disturbances, metabolic acidosis and alkalosis, respiratory acidosis and alkalosis. Fluid and electrolyte balance, osmolality, blood pH, osmosis, dialysis, donor and membrane equilibrium, viscosity, surface tension. Then digestion and absorption of, absorption of carbon dioxide, proteins and lipids. Then chemistry and metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins, lipids and nucleic acids. Minerals, porphyria, disorders of porphyria metabolism, lab diagnosis of porphyriasis, enzyme classification, coenzymes, cofactors, MM constant, enzyme inhibition, regulatory enzymes. Then clinical enzymology, enzyme activity determination, endpoint and kinetic assay, principle and methods of ALP, ACP, OTPT, amylase, lipase etc. Then G6PD, 5-nucleotidase, GGT, liver diseases, muscular diseases, myocardial infarction, etc. Then hormones, general properties, mechanism, hypothalamic and pituitary hormones, thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal cortex, adrenal medulla and gonad hormones, methods of estimation, then molecular biology, DNA replication, recombinant DNA technology, blotting techniques, PCR, fish, Cloning, urine, composition, urinary screening test, estimation of VMA, creatinine, urea and inulin clearance, CSF and other body fluids. 
then gastric juice estimation of free and total acid from gastric juice analysis of urinary and biliary calculi electrophoresis different methods of electrophoresis advantages and disadvantages electrophoresis of serum protein hb and lipoproteins their interpretation then chromatography different forms applications advantages and disadvantages then urine aminogram uh, the separation of amino acids sugar lipid etc then infection immunity antigen antibody immunoglobulins complement system structure functions then hypersensitivity autoimmunity immunology of transplantation then immunological methods and related techniques immunoelectrophoresis elisa fluorescent immunoassay and radio immunoassay then biochemistry different lab tests like lft rft gastrointestinal function test malabsorption studies tft cardiac markers tumor markers gtt gct hb a1c etc then comes toxicology different methods of analysis screening tests organization management then automation semi auto analysis then comes laboratory informatics which include qc accuracy precision sensitivity specificity standard deviation pre analytical and analytical variables etc that's all so this is a huge syllabus as i told you this is the whole syllabus of medical laboratory technology so friends if you are ready for the syllabus wise preparation subscribe the channel and stay tuned thank you